Hey guys, welcome back once again to Breath of Fire 3. When we last left off, Shishu. On this just beat all. We gotta feed this old fart fish. Yeah, we gotta feed the old fart fish. Now, I'm not sure if you actually have to come back here once you get all the ingredients. But it's definitely a good idea. Because the secret to good Shisu is balance. In other words, she gives you a ratio. Alright, tell her to knead the Shishu. The Shaylee will shrink. And you do you don't need it more than twice. So that's your big hint on kneading. So you say thanks, and then she'll tell you her recipe for shishu. Obviously, the bigger the better. But more important is sa is balance. So what she's saying is the uh, recipe is a it's a ratio. So it's ten to t eight to two to four. Basically, you just plug in the size of your fish and then you can figure out how much of everything else you need. I'm cheating a little bit because I got a pretty much a uh, recipe that somebody else has tested. Partly because I don't feel like doing math. Math is for losers. Also, I suck at math. I was pretty good at it in high school, but as soon as I left 10th grade, man, my, uh, any adeptness I had at math, well, it just went right out the window. Anyway, so I'll meet you over in Parch. Hey, welcome to Parch. Okay, now. Well, we have a way. Let's feed him fish. It's not like you have a better plan. And I like the Shi Shu song. Shi Shu. The freaking. Shi Shu song. Shi Shu. I can't say it fish. Anyway, what you want to do, put one mackerel, and as long as your mackerel, as long as you have a ma you ca you've caught a mackerel that is 68 centimeters or better, this will work. Uh, the mackerels can go be up to 70 centimeters long. I caught one that was 69. You want 15 shaley seeds. Okay. Five vinegar and all eight horseradish. You want eight horseradish. Alright, now you want to knead it. Twice. That's once. That's twice. What is this? And I love his reaction. Crying. We'll get him. I can't stop crying. Buckets of tears. I don't really like horseradish. Now, regardless of whether you do good on this or not, the story will go on. So, you know, don't worry about it if you just don't want to fiddle with it. If you don't want to take the time to catch a mackerel big enough, don't don't bother. I mean, you're only missing out on an accessory that's really good, but not necessarily required. Because pretty soon I'll get a better one.
Yay, we got a sea chart. It allows us to go into the uh, rocky area that's, well, um, yeah, the crags east of here. It's where we find him, the legendary mariner. We'll get to do another little mini game here in just a minute. All right, before you leave, talk to this gentleman, and he'll give you your prize. And, depending on how you do, I've gotten rings of, uh, I think I got a, a ring, I got one of, several times I've done this, I've gotten ammonias, wisdom fruits, rings of, uh, ice, I think. It was one of the elemental rings I do think I got. Anyway. Ryu is all over this shaman drink. Lowers AP usage by 25%. It's amazingly good. Now, let's see. Let's go stay at the end. Let's go stay at the end. Like I said, there is a better ring. It's called the spirit ring. Reduces by 50%, but... When I get the spirit ring, I can give my shaman's ring to Momo. Nah, I'm good. Oh, excuse me, I'm good. Don't need to save. he's talking about I think are right here yeah now what you got to do here is you got 23 seconds to get to the red shiny dot yeah I rec yeah I'm not gonna make it there's several treasure chests in here and it won't let me grab that one damn you best way to do this is to approach it like heavy dagger awesome is to approach it from the perspective of you're going after one thing at the time this treasure chest is really freaking hard to get I don't even remember what's in it usually I just forgo it but the heavy dagger actually is a weapon for Ryu and Ray, I recommend giving it to Ray. It's much better than the Feather Sword, see? And it's much better than the weapon you could have bought in Parch as well. So, I recommend you give it to Ray. Keep the Barbar Barbarossa on Ryu. Zroom. Don't let your engine overheat. That's bad. Like like that. Don't let it do that. <sighs> Woohoo! Okay. Now, next time, I'm going for... There might be one more chest in here. Anyway, the blizzard mail. Oh damn, I already got him one. I don't think Gar has one. Yeah, I knew someone didn't. 
Okay, good. Momo, you go back in my party. Oh damn, I wasn't ready. Wasn't ready. Damn rocks, get out my way. Is there a chest over this way? Yeah, there is. Got an ice shield. All right, now, next time, now that I've gotten all the equipment, and such. It's the same. Now that I've gotten all that, we're gonna make it to the house. Unless I screw up. Hopefully I won't, which I appear to be screwing up, so, you know, go me. Yay, I made it! <laughs> Even though I screwed up massively there. How does this man get survive out here? How is it even possible? I mean, he's surrounded by salt water. Where the hell does he get coffee? I don't know. Maybe he gets in and out every once in a while. Are they still calling me that? I feel lied to. Really? Good point. And God's there. Don't forget God. Gotta go ask God. God's got some splaining to do. Okay. The black ship. Dun, dun, dun! Yes. Hmm, guns. Oh dear God, Momo has a plan. Why are you shooting the ship? Oh dear God. No!
Yes! Escape! Escape! Momo, I love you as a character. You're my favorite character in this game. Hmm. All right then. Next time on Breath of Fire 3. Plan B. Heaven help us all.